There's a saying, respect is earned, honesty is appreciated, trust is gained, and loyalty is returned. On today's case, Mr. Forgione says his relationship currently lacks any of those things. He says his dream relationship was snatched away from him when his partner, Mr. Ferguson, turned into a monster. He says the love of his life has tried to push him out of their business, steal his money, and control his every move. Mr. Forgione says if Mr. Ferguson doesn't seek counseling and make a change, they will have to go their separate ways. Let's hear their case. Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Starr presiding. Your Honor, this is the case of Forgione versus Ferguson. Thank you very much, Mr. Forgione, Mr. Ferguson. Mr. Forgione, you are here today to give your partner an ultimatum. Go to counseling or this relationship is over. You say your partner has become controlling, has stolen from you, and lies daily. Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Ferguson, you say you're here today to fight for your relationship. You say Mr. Forgione has flaws that you've learned to live with. You say your business has been a big source of contention. And you both want to help figure out how to resolve it. Or are we looking to put an end to this relationship? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. Mr. Forgione, Mr. Ferguson, you all have been together now for three years. You live together. But clearly, there's some problems going on in this relationship. Mr. Forgione, you brought the case. Why are we here? Yes, so, Your Honor, we are here today because I'm giving Mr. Ferguson an ultimatum. Um, it's either we go to counseling or it's done, D-O-N-E. I'm over the lies, I'm over the deception. Mark's attitude and all of his actions have been honestly disgusting, and I'm done. Well, Mr. Ferguson, you heard what your boyfriend said. Well, I'm here today to fight for our relationship. A uh, relationship is like 50-50. He doesn't give me half. I always put in more work. Mm -hmm. He's not honest. And there's a lot of things that we have to work on if we want to stay together. I'm going to go all the way back. Mr. Forgione, how did you all meet? And what got us to this point? Yeah, so originally, me and my ex-boyfriend were supposed to move to Hawaii. And he texted me one day, right before we were supposed to leave. And he was like, it's done. Like, I'm moving to Hawaii. Like. I'm packing it up, I'm leaving you. So I was all thrown off. I was in a tizzy and I didn't know what to do because I was left homeless in Miami, couch surfing, here and there, didn't know what to do. Were you not working at the time? So I was not working at the time, but then I got a job at a club as a dancer at a club mm -hmm. and that's why I met Mr. Ferguson. I was a dancer and he was a client. I would always see Mark there. He was so cute. He had his tattoos, skinny, tall. And I was like, man, this is my man. Like, this is my dude. You know, like when you know, like, it's your man, it's your man. How long after uh, the your ex left you did you meet um, the defendant? Oh, right away, like the same night. I went, so in other words, you didn't have to couch surf for, for so long? Uh, not for so long. I was couch surfing for probably weeks before me and Mark really hit it off. But Mr. Ferguson, the way uh, Mr. Ford Jones started out the relationship, was that a relationship that you were looking for? I mean, absolutely. Everything was great in the beginning. Um, we did meet at the club. Um, I actually worked at that club. It was an off night. And yeah, introduced myself. Everything was great. What did you do at the club? Um, manager. Okay, so, so you were not talent. You were more administration. Correct, yes. Got it. And he was a new dancer, and I introduced myself. And yeah, the rest was history. And so you all have been together several years now, but I understand you built your life pretty much from scratch. Am I correct? Exactly. I, you know, I'm from a small town in Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, I moved to Florida maybe 10 years ago. Um, it was really hard, but I made a name for myself in the nightclub industry. And so, Mr. Forgione, it sounds like Mr. Ferguson is a catch, quite frankly. He is a catch. He sold me this dream that we were going to move together, we we're going to get a house together, a car together, a dog together, everything. He said we were going to go on these lavish vacations. He was going to take me out all the time. And things changed. He's so unappreciative for everything I do for him. And I thought I was just doing the right thing by... Why, when you myself. say he's unappreciative, what have you done to move this relationship along? Because it sounds like Mr. Ferguson has taken on the lion's share of the financial responsibility in the relationship. Well, I think it's actually the opposite because I make the video content. We make video content together for okay. social media. And what I do is I do all the behind the scenes work. I do the editing, the setting up, the production side, the filming. And 
I just think that everything I do for him doesn't pan out to the amount of money that he would give to me or anything like that. So explain to me, Mr. Ferguson, what this business arrangement you all have is. Are you all video content providers? Is it a 50-50 uh, business? What's going on? It is not a 50-50 business. Um, I built a platform on an adult-only site, mm -hmm. and for the past five years, I've grown my audience um, very well. Um, so was this something you were doing before you met Mr. Forgio? Yes. And was it successful before you met Mr. Forgio? Yes. And here's the deal. If you form a business and one person is contributing, they're expecting to be compensated. How do you compensate him for the work that he's doing? Well, I mean, he lives with me for free, and mm -hmm. every time we do do um, content together, um, he does get um, more followers, more subscribers. Um, like I said, it's my business, and, you know, um, he has a page as well, and I give uh. him subscribers. That's false. We should definitely get a 50-50 split. Mark had zero social media presence when I met him and I started doing this for him. Like, zero, like none, like not even existent. But wait a minute, he says he's been in business for five years. Yeah, but you can be in business online and post videos, but no one's looking at you, you know what I mean? Like, and how, you how am I making all, all day money? and you not, not get any views. So, Mr. Forgio, here's, here's my question. Mm -hmm. If there were no hard and fast rules about the finances, what makes you think you're entitled to 50% of the business that he's built. I just want to be clear on that. Yeah, no, for sure, definitely, 100%. I'm also in the videos. What am I going to sit there and take it and not get any money for it? But you're not in everything. It's mostly, like, my content. Well, he was like, yo, Vincent, like, I'm going to pay you back the money. I 100% was going to pay him back, but three weeks later, um, he took my car to run some errands, got in a car crash, whole bumper came off, $6,000 in damage to my Range Rover. Whoa! So, here's my question. Since you seem to be a, a serious business person, why not sit down and do a contract and say, I'm hiring you for services rendered? Um, I mean... Yeah, where's the contract? I didn't think I needed to have a contract where's with contract? my boyfriend when we're making, like, fun content together. thought it should be, like, a mutual understanding. Okay. That you get all the money, it's, though? It's, it's a verbal... No, you're making so much, too. But you're getting subscribers and stuff. But the content wasn't even good. Someone lied to you several times and told you it was cute, hot, beautiful, and sexy, but it was nothing of this sort, Your Honor. It was nothing like this. So here's my question, though. Just like you are interested in a contract for a portion of the proceeds from his business, um, he might be interested in uh, uh, a half contribution for you staying in his house. Thank well, you. I do do a lot um, on the back end. What I do is, uh, one time, Mark's dog was sick. He has three dogs. I look after the dogs a lot. Okay. The dog was sick, had heartworms. It was rusty, crusty, dusty. So I was like, I'm going to take the vet to get them all patched up and fixed up. So Mark asked me, hey, can you take him to the vet? I'll pay you back. So I took him to the vet. They diagnosed him with everything in the book that they can diagnose him with. And I'm like, okay, Mark, like, I'll flip the bill this time, but you know you're going to have to pay me back. And he never did. Um, did you submit the bill? I do. I have the evidence. Let me see the evidence. Pull up please. the evidence. Pull it up. It says the owner is Vincent Forgione and Mark Ferguson. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We got the puppy, like, together. Like, we both take it to, like, the groomer, the vet. Um, I did say I was going to pay him back, but stuff happened after that, and I just don't feel like I need to pay him back for anything. Sort of like he doesn't need to pay you back for staying in the house rent-free. Mr. Forgio? Yeah. Either you're part owner of the dog, it's either your dog also. It's not like you take a kid to the hospital and you say, uh, yo, Mark, you got to pay for this kid because it's your kid. Well, he was like, yo, Vincent, like, I'm going to pay you back the money. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to get on him yeah. about that. But I want to be very clear, it's your dog also, because you said it was his dog. Yeah, it is his dog. He bought it. And he... The, but that's you because go... he's the one with the money. Exactly. So what I'm saying is, it says the owner are both of you. Is mm. it your dog also? Yeah, we co-parent. Okay. But... Mm -hmm. You all need to resolve how y'all are going to pay for that. I understand you mm. saying that Mr. Ferguson said he would pay you back. Mr. Ferguson, why did you decide not to pay him back? I don't want to put words in your mouth. Why? I 100% was going to pay him back, but three weeks later, um, he took my car to run some errands, 
got in a car crash, whole bumper came off, $6,000 in damage to my Range Rover. Whoa. And he has refused to pay anything for it. He says it's not his fault, but I mean, he was driving. I, I, don't, I don't know what you were doing, who you were texting, who you were on Your Snapchat Honor, the with. The bumper was already coming off when I got in the vehicle. I sent him pictures. He even had insurance, full coverage insurance on it. In the state of Florida, you are required to have full coverage insurance. So you're telling me he and did not spend $6,000? No, the insurance covered it. It's not like I have to pay him for the insurance money. Mr. Ferguson, did your insurance cover it? No, not all of it. I saw to pay $1,000. I don't have full coverage. A lot. That doesn't make sense. Pretty much everybody yeah, has that everyone. deductible, though. And then, of course, my insurance went up every month, and, you know. So, the way I see it, um, Mr. Forgione, you had some responsibility for causing that damage, just like he had responsibility for paying for at least half that bill. But um, there's insurance. Okay, the but there's a deductible, okay? I make beautiful earrings and I sling them online. Got it. I'm a PIMP, and if you didn't know, you do now, you know. I'm you are an HOP. Like, mind you, Your Honor, he's on a gay dating app hooking up at 4 a.m., and you say you're selling earrings? If you'd like your case to be heard on Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or log on to our website at divorcecourt.com. Missed a show? Watch full episodes on our streaming platforms and follow us on social media for exclusive content. It sounds almost like the two of you uh, kind of have a wash. I feel like I'm just well, giving and giving and I'm getting nothing me. back. Okay, I, I mean, I want to resolve finances. The reason I want to resolve these finances is because if your relationship is going to go forward, you have to have a financial plan. And 50% is not reasonable. There's not a court in the law that's going to give you 50% because you're not doing literally 50%, and it's his business. I believe I put 50%, if not more, into it. All he does is show up and is behind the camera. So if I'm doing everything else and he's just showing up behind the camera, I'm running his social media page, I'm running everything. He runs my TikTok. It's not that hard to do TikTok. Okay, well, here's the thing. Mr. Ferguson, if you don't want to compensate him, then he doesn't need to be working in your business. Either way, if you all don't want to resolve it uh, in a way that is mature and professional, there is nothing that I can do to suggest. At some point, you say that it's not just unappreciative or the business, you think he's cheating. Yeah, well, I not think. I know he's cheating. How so? So one day I was getting ready to go to our club job, getting all ready. He said, go ahead, babe, go before me. I'll stay behind, I'll come, you know? So I was like, okay, cool, you know? I'll go before you, I'll set things up for us, get the things going, get the dancers all prepped. Got it. I'm at the club and my phone rings. It, the little notification goes off, dilling, dilling, my ring camera. And I have um, an intern that helps me with like everyday life, you know, helping with the club, helping with the social media stuff here and there, helping us out. And I see the interns there. So I was like, hmm, that's weird. So I'm looking, I'm watching the video on the ring camera and I see Mark and the intern making out. That's a on fabulous story. That is wow. so funny. Did you just come up with that right Show now? Show the evidence. Pull the video up. I'm and waiting for the evidence. You know, I just did you? I'm sorry, did you present? <laughs> I don't have I a gave, note. I gave him the, the ring camera. Okay, I'm told by my court staff He's... that you never submitted ring camera video. Why? Because there's no video. He's deflecting. If anything, he's the cheater. I've caught him multiple times cheating, including last night, which was the final straw. You said last night? Last, last night. False. False. Oh, I just heard about the ring camera with no proof. What about last night? So, mind you, we just flew in from Miami, and um, he says I sleep talk. I have never heard that before. So he was persistent on getting two hotel rooms. Last night at 4 a.m., he doesn't know this, but I have his location on, and he was at some apartment complex, and he was on a gay dating app. Yeah, I was on the app. I was doing that. I do run multiple and businesses. And then I have evidence, by the way. I don't, I'm still waiting on you. I do run multiple businesses. You do have evidence? Yes. I'd like to see the evidence. <laughs> yeah, that's me on the dating app, the gay dating app. I am on there. And I'm going to why you is why. your location? I run a multi, multi hundred dollar businesses. And one of them is I make beautiful earrings and I sling them online. Got it. I'm a PIMP. And if you didn't know, you do now, you know. I'm you are an HOP. Like, mind you, Your Honor, he's on a 
gay dating app hooking up at 4 a.m. and you say you're selling earrings? Yeah. What, what when have I... you ever sold one earring a day in your life? Hi. You just made that up. <laughs> that... <clears throat> Am I? I'm am not I even crazy? argue with him because that's what I do. He knows I do. He knows I run multiple businesses. The deflection businesses, of manipulation and, is just on another level. Well, you're level. just sitting here trying to gaslight me, so I don't. But Mr. Mr. I'm sorry, Mr. Maybe Forgio, we should put the picture back up. Put it up, Mr. Forgio. You were on a gay dating site the night before you bring your man to divorce court. Yeah, but he's on it too. So why are y'all here? Because clearly, this is a toxic relationship that has no real love and commitment to it. Well, I... I'm sorry. It just doesn't. It may sound mean-spirited, but I don't want to hear anything about commitment, because there's no commitment. You would not be on a dating site if you were committed to this man. Are you looking for your next hookup? Is that what it is? No, Your Honor. I honestly... I love Mark. And me and Mark have been together for a very long time. No, and you've been together for three years. That's, that's not a very long time. In the gay dating world, it is. Usually on the first day in the gay world, you get married. So we were in it for a long time. And... You know what? The gay people that I know, they, they all say to me, they want to be treated just normal like a real relationship. And there's no reason for me to treat you any differently. There are beautiful gay couples that make long-term commitments, that they meet the person of their dream and would never think of being on a date nap. Don't put that on the gay community. That's not fair. That's not everybody. That's not. A core value is not determined by your sexual orientation. A core value is determined by your character. Mm -hmm. If you got good character, I don't give a flip-flop what you are or how you... Find love. That's the whole purpose. You should be able to love who you want to love, do what you want to do, as long as it doesn't involve children and animals. You cool with me, okay? Mm -hmm. Period. So, if you and Mark love each other, then you should sit down and put a financial plan together so that Mark doesn't feel used, so that you carry your own weight. If you all decide you want to work on a business together, lay out how that business is going to work. That's how grown people do it. That really and truly is, if you want a real relationship. But if you just want to hit it because you're both good-looking and you're young and you're entrepreneurs, there's nothing wrong with that either. But be honest with each other. Is this a relationship or is this a hookup for content? I want to be with Mark. I think Mark is the most amazing guy I've ever met. He's very genuine, very passionate in our relationship when things aren't crazy. And I want to be with Mark with the rest of my life. Then you can't take money out of his account without his permission. Then you have to take responsibility when you crash his car. Mr. Ferguson, what do you need for this relationship to work? Let me know. I just don't want to feel used anymore. I have a really big heart. I don't want to be lied to anymore. And that's it. I mean, we have great times together. We travel so much. We do so many fun things together. It's just like being used and like these little white lies. It's not cool. It's not a white lie. It's not it's a black a... lie. It's just a straight up lie. It's a big lie. Don't lie to people. Don't lie to people that you love. Okay? And don't floss just to be flossing to get out of a situation where you got caught in a lie. Stand in your caughtness and ask your partner for forgiveness. If you want a real relationship, act like it. And quit acting like just being cute is gonna get you over. It's cute, not. Cute works for a minute. Mm -hmm. But then when stuff start dropping down to Costa Rica rather than up in Vermont, mm -hmm. then you're gonna understand. Okay? Because pretty fades. Dumb as forever. Mark, I don't want to fight with you. I love you, and I want us to get married, Mark. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Did you see the plaintiff just get down on his knee and ask the defendant be to marry him? I first thought it was a business transaction because they really were in relationship. No. Then he was slinging earrings with a towel over his... But when that ring came out... Forgot everything that just happened. I'm done with all of it. <laughs>